Uh, I wanted to do a video over something more positive coming out of Electronic Arts, but of course they had to pull this whole surprise mechanic crap when they were trying to basically be on the side of loot boxes when they were trying to defend loot boxes at British Parliament. So I want to actually show you guys this video. I don't want to go too much into detail because I feel like if I started rambling about it, my head would explode and I would get spaghetti sauce all over, all over, all over my beautiful my beautiful camera here. Let's check out the video. I mean, do you consider loot boxes to be a, an, an ethical feature of your games? Kerry? Well, first, we don't call them loot boxes. I think that was... Whatever a, term but, you wish to apply yeah, to them, so, do so, you consider them ethical? So, what we look at as, as surprise mechanics. Nah, um, right. But I think it's important to look at this. So, uh, if, yeah. if you go to... If you Boy, if you don't get... Recently on Game Informer's YouTube channel, they have been covering Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and one of the new videos that have came out has suggested that Respawn is not using the Frostbite engine, but they are using the Unreal engine on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which is, I think, is an amazing thing, and it actually kind of surprised me. Developers at EA actually all use the Frostbite engine, but Respawn, once again, is doing something differently, so it kind of leads me to think that Respawn has a little bit more freedom when developing games. Developers at EA have already expressed their opinion about how bad Frostbite is. Jason Schreier at Kotaku said this when covering Anthem a couple months back. EA's Frostbite engine continued to make their life miserable for many of Bioware's developers, and understaffed departments struggled to serve their team's needs. Another employee told Kotaku, Frostbite is like an in-house engine with all the problems that entails. It's poorly documented, hacked together, and so on. With all the problems and externally sourced engine, nobody you actually work with designed it, so you don't know why this thing works the way it does. Obviously, the Frostbite engine isn't an ideal engine to develop a video game, and games like Anthem and Mass Effect Andromeda have suffered for it. Unreal is being used more and more by developers, and they're finding it more efficient to work with. Vince Zampella, the CEO of Respawn, has talked about why they chose Unreal over the Source and Frostbite engine. Yeah, Titanfall is in Source, Apex is in Source. Yeah. Um, so why the change for, for this one? It made sense for the team, you know, so we're hiring up a new team, it's easier to find people that have Unreal experience. It was an engine that fit what we were kind of trying to do instead of trying to adapt the source engine over. So it was just, you know, in, in evaluating all the engines that were available to us, this is the one that the team felt was the best choice. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do we trust Respawn or are we kind of still on the edge because EA, it basically is an EA game still and, it, and you're very skeptical about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. There is a little bit in me that's still saying, well, it is an EA game. It could completely go down the water. But when you look at Apex Legends and and how that was running on the Source engine, Respawn seems like they're getting a lot more freedom under EA than most developers had in the last three years. And also, they're making a story-driven, linear Star Wars game, something that EA has kind of talked about, and it kind of seemed like they were almost against doing something like this. But now they're doing it, and Respawn is ahead of it. So do we trust Respawn? Do we trust EA? Who do we trust? So just let me know in the comments what you guys think, and if you guys are is excited for me for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order as I am to be honest with you I'm just I just really want to see what the game can come out to be so make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you guys subscribe we are getting very very close to 300 subscribers and I love you guys I will check you guys later all right I've been Curtis Russell with the Soul Dojo deuces viewers beware Smart but still ain't knowing nothing Sick and sipping robot touch the hell and I myself today Give it a sight, the flow is coming Be the type of dude you wanna ask him if he holding something Got that high tech sword by rolling up with Be in the section with the people that I'm smoking with Hit it then I hold it in, hold it then I choke again I'm that socialist, vocalist, you show your friends More to corruption than some Donald Trump emoluments That really says a lot about society now